Hello, my name's Brian, and welcome to Overland Calling. You might remember from the last episode, where we rolled in towards the end of the day and found a nice spot here at Sears Creek Campground in Georgia. Well, little did I know, not only were there sites that I missed the first time around, but also some pretty cool trails. So we're going to go check these out, as well as do a little trip through the Great Smoky Mountains, tie things up with the first part of Hurricane Creek. I invite you to join me and enjoy the ride. I should be on the road right now, but you know what? I think I'll just hang, kick back, enjoy the nice view, and honestly, I'm letting videos build up like mad. So I think it's time for me to dig in, do some video editing, all that good stuff. This isn't really anything sexy to watch, so I'm not going to torture you with that. But I'm going to go through videos, organize them, and see if I can at least get one up. All right, so I'm going to get to work on my second job, and I'll see you when we hit the trails. It is time to say goodbye to this campsite. Here's the general plan for the day. Get some glare, but so there's Knoxville. We're down here. I'm gonna make my way up here by the end of the day. But I'm gonna take a route roughly right down in here. What route exactly? Well, I can't tell you, but I'll be able to record the track. It has been a nice little spot. We're gonna go check out the rest of Sarah's Creek Campground. Take a little jaunt up this road here. Dead ends into some forks. <laughs> Sis is excited to be moving again. Got some more campsites. I'll take it up to the end of the road, but we're just gonna kind of follow the stream here. It's off to the right. I'm always excited to see what's at the end of a forest road. Well, this is pretty cool. stream crossing. Sarah's Creek Campground really surprised me. It's kind of a weird mix between dispersed camping and a campground. It's hard to explain without actually like getting here and seeing it. The sites aren't packed in close together. You've got some that are close and some that are just spaced out. You feel almost like you're not even in a campground and you're dispersed camping. It's really cool. And most of the sites are running right along Sarah's Creek. If you're ever in the area, I highly recommend it. Man, that is picturesque. Man, look at that. Beautiful. But just beautiful.
I should probably air down my tires, but that ain't happening right now. Oh, go, go, cheap. God, I love this thing. That was cool. But I basically, I came up over that way, cut back towards the wall. So my tires, I'm thinking would hit there and then go up, but not be too sucked into that wall. Because I'll tell you right now, that's pretty tight. And there ain't no way my rock rails are catching that one. Man, I'm like a kid in a candy store. It's a good thing I didn't try and uh, explore back here yesterday, or I would have been night wheeling for sure. Hey buddy, what'd you think of that trail? You're hunkered down pretty good. <laughs> All right, this is the end of the MUVM map listing. The trails go on. Looks like it gets pretty rough. But I'm going to stick with the map. Because we are at the bitter end. Got a nice turnaround spot here, so I'm going to take full advantage of it. If I can do it, I'm in four low, so. <laughs> nope. The old Gladiator three point. first spot right there. You know what? I'm going to take a little peek. Let's go see what this streamside view is like. This is pretty. More of a tent camp style spot. I could definitely see being here, sitting by the fire, listening to that stream in the background. Man, what was I thinking stopping last night? <laughs> Although it probably would have been dark by the time I got here. Not ideal for us, but if you're a tent camper, man, that's a beaut. I'm making horrible time, but look at this spot. It's huge. Look at that. Man, I thought my babbling brook last night was good. This is pretty epic. It's a hot day. I mean, the stream's not super deep here, but you could definitely take a dip and cool off. Yeah, this is going marked as epic. I'm gonna find a brand new icon for epic camping. Cause this bad boy is just beautiful giant spot. The epic spot I could have had last night.
Yeah, trail cam looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Well, that's an interesting noise. All right, no promises on filming technique for this one. We're just gonna go down super slow. Get a little view here of this wonderful wall. All right, and we're on the brakes now. Cruising in on this wall. My rear is gonna drop like a rock. I just spray painted that bumper. Go smooth. Are we gonna have bumper drag? No. Bam. Ooh, I wasn't quite out of it yet. Nice. That's a tricky one. This has been bouncing around enough. It's time to let him out. Let him have a little bit of play time. Stretch his legs, because he is dying to get out. And we're gonna take a look at this camping area. And a nice little creek crossing that is close to vehicles. Looks like it used to be one at one time. They felled some logs. That's all right. You get to camp by it. That ain't bad at all. Big old spot. No cell phone reception. And we got another sign on a tree. Let's go take a peek at that. Oh yeah. Pack it in, pack it out. I think they did a good job. Seuss, you found a tennis ball? Obviously somebody left a dog toy. Yeah, not too bad. Oh man. Well, at least they bagged it up. But I mean, damn people, come on. Time for some Zeus exercise. Oh. Come on, bring it back, buddy. Woo! All right, all right. You ready? And go! <laughs> no! <laughs> we got Zeus loaded back up. 
he had a great time playing fetch. Loaded up some trash because people can't seem to do that themselves. off there's what it looks like we're gonna go check it out no but look at what have we got here another campsite there's signs all over here that says drown the campfire until you don't see smoke anymore we're at almost two gallons of water now but we're gonna make another trip to this beautiful stream and grab a little bit more water Beautiful stream. Go see how the campfire's doing. Make sure it's out, and then I'm gonna hit the road. Turn these logs, see what I can't get to. Finish the douse and I'm out of here. Number one, don't be the person that leaves the campfire going. Number two, if you come up on one, Take some time, put it out. If you don't have the water, grab a shovel, throw dirt on it. That works pretty good too. So anyway, let's keep these places available, not burn them down. Right now, I'm on a dirt road that is actually pretty darn exciting. I'm on the old Chattahoochee Turnpike. Well, there we go. Great Smoky Mountain National Park. Oh, and reservations required. That's not good. I guess I won't be camping here at their wonderful campground because I have no reservations. I barely even have a plan. But that's the joys of overlanding. Kind of like a turtle. You move slow, but you carry your house on your back. Well, it is definitely nice to be in the Great Smoky Mountains. On a dirt road with a big old drop off on the left hand side. I don't like heights, by the way. I don't have a fear of heights. I don't like them, though. I don't really fear falling either. It's that sudden stop at the end that always gets you. I'd like to know what you think. Should you do internet research and just plan everything out? Or 
seat of the pants, freedom of the open road, and see what's around that next corner. What's your preferred method? Man, I tell you what, this beats the heck out of taking the interstate. It's not a challenging trail, but man, is it beautiful. It is super windy. You got to take it slow, but you never know what's quite around the corner. Just a beautiful drive. Hey, looky there. Got another Jeep on the trail. Well, would you look at that? That's something you don't see every day. Very pretty. Well, here we go. Got a little bridge. Now's when I wonder exactly how heavy I am. All right, Zeus, we're gonna pull off, let you get some leg strengthening in. Ah, got the tires aired down a little bit. Man, that feels a lot better. Take a little of the edge off. Look at this crazy dog. He thinks he's a pro now. Thinks he's a pro. Just because we're on a dirt road doesn't mean you don't need to hunker down a little, buddy. So here's a question. For those of you that have your pets along with you, you put them in a back gate or do you let them roam a little free? Let me know in the comments. I'm sorry about all the hood cam. Try and give you a little bit of the view here in the Smoky Mountain National Forest. But it's five o'clock. While I'm enjoying the heck out of this, it's about time I started searching for a camp. I know I should be hauling butt right now, but man, sometimes you just have to stop and smell the roses. Well, this is pretty cool. A little water crossing. Very nice. And just off the interstate. Man, is it cold and windy. All right, we got some air in the tires. And we're going to give the interstate a quick shot. I've apparently got to go past Hurricane Creek and then turn back off to it, which just annoys the heck out of me. But oh well. Man, it's cold. I really hope this campsite's open. I'm not looking forward to setting up camp in the dark, in the cold. Look at that. So I was expecting like an exit off the interstate, I-40, for Hurricane Creek Road. And you know what? That's not what it is. So just heads up, 
You pull off on the shoulder and then there's a little dirt road to turn off. Let's check it out. Pray for sale and an open camping spot. Wow, it is rough. Not so bad. Gotten too used to gravel roads. I know if I was in a sprinter van, I wouldn't drive for this spot. Just past the little mini cave. I ain't crawling in it though, I'll tell you that. We have reached waypoint three on Trails Off Road. Man, I wanna cross that stream, but you know what? I think I'm just gonna camp beside it instead. Because we've got an open spot here. Look at that. Got some pretty good sized rocks. I'll have to maneuver a little bit. Not quite sure where I'll set up yet. Just about all the firewood I could ever want. Man, thank you to whoever left this. That's awesome. Past a bunch of houses, like, I don't know, maybe 500 yards ago. I thought I was on the wrong dang road, but nope. Gonna have a tree root right in my way, but yeah, I'll deal with it. Oh, I laid it out so nice. I always forget this part jacks it up. When you're doing this, you want to get this D-ring underneath the tent pole or the awning pole. That way it can really lock everything in place. All right, got a lantern hung up, but my main light, Gonna be an old light ranger. Start the bed inflating. Can't forget this bad boy. No, I'm not gonna use it right now. It'll come in handy. You're gonna be somewhere for a couple days. You're gonna need it.
that's going to put a wrap on this episode. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to work the rest of the week here on Hurricane Creek in North Carolina. And then you better believe I'm going to be hitting this trail. So stay tuned for the next episode. Till next time, enjoy the ride.